Alright, so I am about to buy Ivan Nelson's book right now. Ugh. Okay, I think we have to wait for the Telegram version because this is too expensive. But now that you're here, you know what time, time it is. My name is Sako, dear. Got the porn bed. It's time to talk about the biggest story in the book. Eva Nelson just poured out her heart to the public. About that time when Sako dear poured his liquids inside her. Who is more your type, Lydia Forsen or Yvonne Nelson? I don't I don't know Lydia personally. Mm -hmm. I've had an encounter with Yvonne. Okay. So really and truly, you picked Yvonne? Because I know so you Don't twist Yvonne. it. Me, I shouldn't twist it. Did she twist it when she was on it? <laughs> yes, he had an encounter with Yvonne Nelson. He didn't tell us what kind of encounter, but now we know it is sexual. You see, Sakodia met Yvonne Nelson when he was just coming up, but it turns out his career was not the only thing that was rising, if you know what I mean. There was chemistry between them that turned into biology that has now turned into controversy for Sakodia. I had gone for a pregnancy test to confirm what becomes the most obvious conclusion for a sexually active young woman who misses her monthly flow. You can't just say that you you can't just say you went for a pregnancy test because you missed your period. I don't understand why people think because they're writing a book, it has to be so many words and sound like it is a come on guys. If Anelsa has acted in so many Ghanaian movies, she's writing her book as if the book is a Ghanaian movie script. We don't want to display our disagreement in public. I wasn't the only one responsible for the situation, so I called the man whose potent seed had germinated in me a day, and a day. No, nobody's marking their work. It's not compositional. Write freely. Oh, now I want to buy the book to see how much more of this kind of stuff is in there. Will you smile? So Sap was giving us his crazy flow on the mic. What the hell is way sexy than African booty with stretch marks on it? While even Nelson was missing her flow of the month, and as that period. In time, Sakodia was not ready for new blood. And after 13 years, the news has just come out and now your man has been found wanting. Not wanting the child, but wanting the news to go away. <laughs> so yeah, Sakodia knocked up Yvonne Nelson and she aborted the baby. And as soon as I saw this news, the very first thing I did was to tweet this part of, of Sakodia's song. A few of the big accounts picked it up and I'm sure Sakodia has seen it by now. If he has come on Twitter, he has definitely seen that video. And if you don't understand, he was saying on the song that a certain girl got pregnant and then they went to remove it. It was a joking way, but right now, it's not really a joke anymore, Sakodia. <laughs> You are a bad boy. You are a bad boy. And news reaching me from Nigeria is that Inyaya, Mr. Oreo, who once dated Imo Nelson, has gone into hiding because he has a whole chapter in the book for him. <laughs> For a whole chapter to be named after you and seeing what is happening to Sakodi here now, I'm sure the amount of time he lasts during sex is in that chapter. I'm, I'm going to buy the book. I'm, I'm going to buy the book right now. Now, news also reaching me all the way from heaven is that the baby that was aborted is not happy. The baby has been annoyed ever since Sakodi won the BT because it's seen that it could have been the child of both Sakodi and Yvonne Nelson. The child would have been set for life. Unfortunately, it was set for the opposite. The aborter did not give a chance to the abortee. So sad. When she met Sakodia, she could see that this guy had raw talent. And so they decided to hit it raw in bed. Or maybe the condom broke. You never know. I mean, if Sakodia fucks as fast as he raps, then the condom will definitely break. There's nothing you can do about that. And you can take it further. If his sperm swims as fast as he raps, it's meant to be. There's nothing you can do about that. He's going, you're going to have a child. Because I know. So you don't twist it. Now, of course, this news is crazy. And as usual, everybody. Everybody is taking sides. People are defending Sakodi as I'm saying that she's using his name to promote the book and all that stuff, blah 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 blah. And here's my question. So what if she is? It happened to her. The thing happened. She might as well use it to make money. She got pregnant for the biggest rapper in Africa, had an abortion and you expect her to not put it in her book to sell the book? Are you crazy? And I get it. So many Sakodi fans who try to defend him. I'm one of the biggest Sakodi fans ever. You guys, if you watch my videos, you probably know by now. <laughs> But in some situations, you should put fandom aside and look at them as human beings. This was probably a very, very difficult time for them and they kept it under wraps for like 13 years. There's no reason to bash this person or bash that person or say she's this or she's that. You are being stupid if you do that. No matter what you do, it is her story. The fact that the story includes your favorite rapper doesn't mean they are going to discredit her story. I mean, if it was anybody else, if it was a, a person you hated, you would say, oh yes, it's true. But because it's an artist you like, you want to say, oh, she's trying to use him for class. The fuck out of here. <laughs> you seem to be enjoying the feet washing ritual more than I expected. But another thing I'm seeing, like the whole thing is being spun as if 
it was Sakoria's fault that she had the abortion, which is crazy because correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but she didn't say Sakoria asked her to abort the baby. She said Sakoria did not want the baby. And so if we are to go by the popular opinion of it is her body and her choice, then the abortion is her choice. You can't blame anybody else. But then she said that Sakoria did not call her after the procedure. He didn't check up on her. I think that that was the fuck up. Like, come on, bro. You have to check. Come on, bro. But the way the narrative is being spun right now is going to make Sakoria look like a bad person. And that's the thing I'm saying. These are two human beings who had an issue. Okay, this thing happens to many, many, many people. It doesn't make them bad people. It just, it happens. You know, like, it happened to me before. I can't mention the girl's name, but you may have seen her in some of the uh, Avengers movies. You know, it happened to me and it was a very traumatic time in my life. So I understand what Sakoria is going through. So Sakoda or Ivan Nelson are not bad people. You don't have to take a side. They were young people who made a mistake that so many young people make. Now, I happen to be of the school of thought that it takes two to make a baby, and so it should take two to decide whether or not the baby comes to earth or not. But you can't deny the most popular opinion right now is that it's one person's choice. So if that's the case, it is what it is. Okay, shout to the baby. Um, yeah, prepare heaven for us. We are coming. One last thing I have to say to Sakoda. Uh, Sakoda, whenever I meet you again, remind me to give you something, please. This is um. This is Ebony condoms. Uh, it was given to me as Black Sheriff's concert. Sakoda, next time I see you, remind me. And all the boys, all the boys, Black Sheriff himself, uh, Camilo, all the boys, please. When, whenever, I use, whenever I see you again, please remind me to give you because we don't want 10 years later will somebody write a book again. I understand, or somebody will come and say, please, we don't want any of that. We beg. <laughs> <laughs> I still will ask you to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will ask you to use protection, my guys. Use protection, especially those of you who are, you know, you have, you know, you have big prospects in life. You know, one day you're going to be somebody big. You're going to, you are, you are on to doing big things in your life. Please do not hit it raw. I know it feels better when it's raw. I know, but like, please don't do that. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, I understand mistakes happen. The pussy is too good sometimes, you know. So yeah, if, if that's the case. If you happen to have a child, then it's cool, you know. Make more money so you can take care of the child, I guess. All right, guys, let me not think about the video. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Sing the song. I could never ever ask you to like and subscribe. But you go fi share my video if you know you're feeling my fight. People, I could never ever ask you to like and subscribe. But you go fi share my video if you know you're feeling my fight.